So I have the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus here, and today I'm going to show you how to perform a factory reset on the Galaxy S10, the S10 Plus, and the S10e. Now to do a factory reset on this Samsung series of devices, we have two different options to choose from. The first option is commonly referred to as a soft factory reset. And then the second option is referred to as a hard factory reset. So as long as you can boot into Android, then it is recommended that you perform the soft factory reset. And that's what I'll go over first. However, if you have done something to your device that is causing it to boot loop, whether this is an over-the-air update or a mod that you installed or even just randomness, sometimes randomness can just corrupt some data on the device and cause a boot loop. So if you cannot boot into Android, then it is recommended that you go with the hard factory reset. So let's go and show you how to do both of these methods. First we're going to start with the soft factory reset. And to do that we're going to open up the settings application. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit. until you see the general management option. Now once you see that general management option, go ahead and tap it, and we're going to be tapping on the reset option right there. Now we have a number of different reset options to choose from. In a previous tutorial, I showed you how to fix some common Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, or mobile data issues by resetting the network settings. However, to do a soft factory re reset on the Samsung Galaxy S10 series, we're going to be choosing the factory data reset option. Now once we go into here, we can see a lot of the information of our accounts and the applications that we have installed, just as a reminder of some, some data that you will lose by doing a factory data reset. So it, naturally it is recommended that you use Samsung Smart Switch to create a backup of the data on your device. And I'll go over that in the future. So once we get to this page, we're going to be tapping on the reset button. And then we're going to be tapping on the delete all button to confirm that factory reset. You can see the device is going to shut down and it's going to boot back up into a special boot mode so that it can perform the factory data reset. You can see it'll tell you that it's erasing. It's going to restart again. Now that the data has been reset, it's going to boot back up into Android. And this first boot cycle is going to take longer than normal because Android has to set stuff back up. Samsung has to set back stuff up. Your applications have to be optimized so that they can be opened quickly, etc., etc. So this first boot cycle is going to take longer than normal. Simply be patient. This is common any time you do a factory reset or erase uh, certain parts of the data stored on our device. And this is just going to take you back to the Android activation screen so that you can set your device over, set your device up again. This is one of the many troubleshooting steps that I recommend people take whenever they notice anything out of the ordinary. Like before, I've, I've told you that there are various ways of fixing Bluetooth connection issues on the Samsung Galaxy S10 series. So if you're experiencing those, then you'll want to go through those certain steps first. Boot into safe mode, then do the reset network settings. Then if it's a, a Bluetooth specific issue, then delete the data and cache of that Bluetooth application. This is all tutorials that I've covered in the past. 
You can find these on the YouTube channel and on my website, androidexplained.com. And if none of those particular steps end up working, then another troubleshooting step is to do a factory data reset. So we are finally now able to boot back into Android and the Android activation screen. So there we go. That is how to perform the, what is again referred to as the soft factory reset or the soft f factory data reset. Another option is referred to as a hard factory data reset. Now if that is the case, that's, you want to use this option if you cannot boot up into Android. So if you can't boot up into Android and go through those settings apps, and menus, then you need to power down the device. You can do this by holding a certain number of buttons. You can do this by some devices let you do this just by holding the um, power button, but you want to power down the device. And then we're going to boot up into recovery mode by holding the power button, the Bixby button, and the volume up button. You're going to feel it vibrate and we're going to continue holding those buttons down. And now we're at that blue screen. This is all stuff I've shown you before, so if you're not, not familiar with booting into recovery mode, go back and check that older video, and I'll walk you through that process. Now once you are able to boot into recovery mode to perform what is known as the hard factory data reset, we're going to get to this menu, and you know, like I told you before, the touch screen is not working so we need to use the power button and the volume up and down buttons to navigate through this and we're just going to scroll down and select the wipe data factory reset option once that's highlighted press the power button to select it and it's going to give us a confirmation prompt asking us are you sure we want to do this because you are going to erase all the data you have on your device. Just like before, it's recommended that you back up as much as possible. I realize that's pretty hard if you can't boot up into Android and are forced to doing a hard reset, but do whatever you can. Boot up into recovery mode, try to get into MTP mode on the device so that you can at least copy your downloads over while it's connected to the computer. In any case, once we get to this confirmation screen, we're going to make sure the yes option is highlighted. Press the power button to select it. And if we look here at the bottom, you can see that it is wiping our data and formatting our data partition, our cache partition, our key data partition, and our key refuge partition. And then at the very bottom, it says data wipe complete. Once that's done, we are taken back to the regular Android recovery screen. Now this whole process will be different if you have a custom recovery like TWRP installed, but for the stock recovery, this is how the process is for doing a factory data reset. So once we are back at this main menu, we are just going to again press the power button to select the reboot system now option and that is going to reboot our device and just like before this whole boot cycle is going to take longer than normal because again android has to set stuff back up samsung has to set stuff back up your apps need to be optimized cache needs to be created 
etc etc so again just be patient during this process and let it boot up back to the Android activation screen and again just like before just be patient during this boot cycle it doesn't matter which boot method you, or which factory reset method you go with the end result is the same I've seen some people recommend doing a hard factory reset is better and erases more data or does a better job at erasing data that simply just is not the case the same wipe commands and scripts are run no matter if you do a soft factory data reset or a hard factory data reset Just wait till it takes you back to the Android activation screen. Connect up your account, whether it's your Google account and or your Samsung account. And you can even connect your device back to the computer and do a restore from Samsung Smart Switch to restore the data that you created in a backup. So that is how to do a factory data reset on the Samsung Galaxy S10, the Galaxy S10 Plus, and the Galaxy S10e.